गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल अकेडमिया अम्बाला दिस इज योर कंप्यूटर पीरियड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद लेसन नंबर फोर दैट इज विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर वी विल रिवाइज आर लेसन नंबर थ्री दैट इज सॉफ्टवेयर चिल्ड्रन इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी स्टडीड अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर द फर्स्ट software which we studied first type of software which we studied that was system software system software are the softwares which are used to run the system there are two type of system software one is operating system and second is utilities operating system are the programs which are used to run the computer run the system without operating system computer cannot work whereas the utilities are the programs which are used to maintain the hardware of the system second type of software which we studied in the previous class that was application application software application software are the programs which are purposely made made for some problem to solve us pro some problem like if we want to write a letter or a document we need microsoft word Uh, if you want to play games there are different types of games that are also a part of application software same way if you want to make a painting you need microsoft paint so these are the application softwares then is programming language programming language are also a type of software uh, in which different softwares are made like system software and application software all the softwares are made in some or the other programming language now if you remember this diagram we discussed this diagram in our lesson number 3 uh, the innermost circle where it is written on hardware in the innermost circle that is the green part of the circle see cpu monitor desk mouse printer etc are the hardware hardware are the physical part of the computer which can be touched and felt in the white area of the circle it is written system software system software are the programs which are used to run the hardware there are two types of system software you can see in the diagram operating system and utilities one of the example is written here windows 7 is an example of operating system and memory testers are the example of utilities operating system are to be mandatory in the system without operating operating system computer cannot work in the orange part of the circle some softwares are written the first one is computer games and one example is written here pubg computer games are also application software which are made for entertainment purposes second example it is written here that is spreadsheet spreadsheet are the programs which are which have rows and columns and we can keep our data there for calculation purposes or to maintain the records in tabular form third is written here word processor an example is written here ms word word processor are the programs which have all the facilities to write a document in a proper and enhanced way uh, next is written here databases example is written ms access databases are the programs which are used to keep the data in tables and to put the query out of that database then comes internet browser children you have seen uh, google chrome in your mobile or computer system that is an internet browser using that program we can surf into the internet see to uh, explain this uh, these types of software this diagram you can see here user gives the command to the application software and the application software passes the that command to the operating system operating system makes the hardware to complete that task in case if the task is not completed the error message will again go to the operating system and that error message will be converted into english and will be given to the application software then to the user so this is the process using which the system works children in this chapter we will be studying about one of the operating system that is windows 7 so let us read this chapter 
Windows Operating System. We will be reading the following topics. Windows, Windows 7, Starting Windows, Components of Windows 7 Screen, Restarting and Shutting Down a Computer. So let us read. Hello friends, you are now familiar with the operating system software. In this chapter, you will get to know about most commonly used operating system. Example, MS Windows. Windows. As you all know that to start and work, every computer needs an operating system software like Windows, Mac operating system, Linux, etc. Windows is the most popular operating system that is used nowadays. It is a special program that controls the working of a computer. There are different versions of Windows like Windows 98, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. Windows 7 Windows 7 is an operating system developed by Microsoft. It is a GUI Graphical User Interface based operating system in which pictures, images, icons and menus are used to give commands. The commands are performed with the help of a mouse instead of using a keyboard. Children, here one new word you have seen, GUI, that is Graphical User Interface. Interface is the screen and graphical means pictures. So, in Windows 7, the screen is full of small, small pictures and when you need to give the command to the system, you need not to type anything. Simply clicking on those small pictures, you can execute the command. Like if you want to take a printout out of your system, you simply click on the small icon of printer, small picture of the printer which is on, the, on your screen. If you click on that, the document will be printed. In the same case, if you want to save a file, need not to type, need not to give any command to the system by typing, simply click on the small icon of floppy. When you click on that, your file is automatically saved. So that is why such programs are called GUI, that is Graphical User Interface. Try to learn this word. Next comes Starting Windows 7, that is Cold Booting. Children, in the previous chapter, we studied about starting and restarting a computer. Starting a computer, we learned a new word that is Cold Booting. When your system is off, and you start, switch it off and you start the system that is called cold booting. So let us read this page. When you turn on your computer, Windows 7 starts automatically and a welcome screen appears. You may be asked to enter the password. You can ask the password from your teacher. See children, this is the blue screen. When you switch on the system, you see such a screen, screen over the system. So, for that uh, to entering into the system, you have to give a password. So, type the password, click on the go arrow or press the enter key. Now, after entering this uh, password, you can see uh, a screen with small icons and this such blue screen you can see. Uh, this is called desktop. So, let us read this page. Now you will get the final desktop screen. Your computer is now ready to work. Children, we will learn some new words here. These are the different components of the Windows 7 screen. So try to learn these words because in the upcoming chapters we will be using these words for discussion and learning. Components of Windows 7 screen. On the computer desktop, you will see the following items. See desktop icons. The small pictures on the screen 
is called desktop icons some of the pro other program is connected to these icons so when you click on these when you double click on these icons some of the other program will run the program which is connected to the uh, icon will automatically run when you double click on it next word is start button start button is at the bottom at the left bottom of the screen when you click on the start button a small menu appears and this menu has the name of the different programs which is installed which is inside your computer so when you click on these items in the menu that program automatically runs and this menu is called start menu this blue screen is called desktop and the arrow which is moving by moving your mouse that is called mouse pointer this you have studied in class 2 also mouse pointer the purple bar at the bottom of the screen or the brown bar at the bottom of the screen that is task bar the icons which are present on the task bar are called task bar icons on the task bar you have notification area this notification area you get the messages by the system suppose your operating system or the program is to be updated such messages you will get in the notification area then comes date and time date and time is the icon on the task bar uh, which shows the date and time the current date and the time this is shown by this icon and you need not to change the date and time it automatically changes so children here we have to keep for, uh, one thing in mind on the task bar we can see start button we can see task bar icons we can see notification area and we can see date and time these four things you have to keep in mind because i am going to ask you desktop it is the first screen that appears after switching on the computer it is an area where you work with your programs and documents there can be different backgrounds on different computers according to their settings desktop icons the small buttons pictures on the desktop are called icons programs can be open quickly by just double clicking on icons some common desktop icons are internet explorer document computer recycle bin network so starting and closing an application how to start a program and how to close a program that we will be learning in this chapter so you can start an application program ms word paint internet explorer etc installed on your computer to perform any task in this example we will open ms paint so children for opening ms paint first of all click on the start button click on all programs click on accessories now click on paint so what will happen ms paint will open in on your system the paint application the paint application will appear in front of you you can now work on it hey wait for a minute we are just half way through let me tell you how to switch off your computer once you have finished your work on the computer you need to switch it off this is also a step by step procedure to switch off your computer you have to close all the running programs or applications close all the open windows by clicking on the close button this will bring you back to the desktop now restarting the computer restarting the computer means it shuts down and starts up again immediately if your computer is not operating properly you can restart your computer to try to fix the problem 
click on the start button the start menu will appear now click on the shutdown arrow a menu will appear click on restart windows shut down and your computer restarts shutting down the computer after finishing all the work what you have to do you have to shut down your computer so these are the steps to shut down after completing your work you need to shut down your computer to shut down the computer properly follow the given steps click on start button the start menu will appear click on shut down windows 7 shuts down and turns off the computer children this was all about this chapter we have studied windows 7 we have studied how the components of the uh, screen of the windows 7 and how to start shut down the system so just uh, see this video twice thank you and have a nice day